a very delightful evening to all and a hearty welcome to yet another event on sustaining a business titled as Pitch Tech, organized by Sanjeevni Embracing Life, Business for Charity Enterprise of ML Khanna Devi Public School, Dwarka, New Delhi. Now, let's get acquainted with the moderators of today's event. So we have Sher Dobal, the General Secretary, and Ishu Girsa, the director, along with me, Tanvi Chaturvedi, the manager of, Pup of Team Sanjeevni. It's our pleasure to have Ms. Bernali Roy, ma'am, in charge of middle school, and Ms. Deepthi Kher, ma'am, PGT Business Studies, as our owner judges, for acknowledging the performances of today's event. We are glad to announce that we are streaming live on YouTube. You all can access the recording of today's event by going to the Sanjeevni Embracing Life channel on YouTube to see your performance. Before we commence with this event, I would like to apprise you of a few rules that are expected to be followed for the smooth proceedings of the session. Keep your videos on and your microphones muted. Only the speaker should unmute the microphone. Post your queries in the meeting chat. Pin the screen of the presenter to view the session uninterrupted. There is no greater way than by returning to our own ancient roots. So let's start this event by connecting to our God. Now, let's take a glance at the itinerary. So, we'll begin with the principal ma'am's address, followed by the working model of our enterprise. Then, all the participants would be sharing their respective business ideas. Further, we'll have the e-valedictory ceremony with your feedback and reflections. Thereafter, we will have the vote of thanks. To conclude, we'll take a group photograph to cherish today's remedies. True leaders are concerned about their responsibility and influence rather than their authority. And one such true leader is our Reverend Principal Ma'am. Now, I would like to request Ma'am to come forward to address the gathering.
Thank you, Ishu. Thank you, Tanvi. Thank you, Shrey. We have some wonderful hosts for this absolutely amazing program that is being held by the Environment Club of our school, Sanjeevani Embracing Life. I welcome each and every participant, the teachers, our judges, and the teachers from the host school also to this program. Dear students, the pandemic has taught us a number of things. If we think that things are difficult, well, change that view. At ML Khanna DAV Public School, we all believe that these are different times which are making us stronger, more flexible, more adaptable to face the world that is constantly different. Let us understand that change is the only constant we have. If we look at what happened in the past and wait for things to go the same way, well, let me tell you, it is the things are different and they are not happening the same way. The things that were there, that were the normal yesterday or maybe an year back or maybe two years back, well, those things are not considered normal anymore. I'll give you an example. So if you were asked uh, one fine day to wear masks and you were not told the reason, well, many of you would question it. But today, before leaving the house, the most important thing that you take in your hand and wear it as soon as you're out of the house is a mask. Isn't that adaptability? Of course, with a reason and with the concern that we are going to protect ourselves and others. And yes, in a lighter vein, uh, probably uh, not face the fine that is imposed by the traffic police. Sanjeevani Embracing Life is a wonderful platform. You know, just like we have classrooms and we have laboratories and we have libraries in the school, I think the clubs in the school play a major role. And Sanjeevani, the environment club of our school, is one major learning classroom. It has brought forth a number of students who are now confident directors, managers, handling business ideas, sharing uh, their businesses, and uh, even doing uh, online programs, even doing, uh, they have been setting up online marketplaces, they have been setting up online fairs. And uh, I once again, you know, take this opportunity to tell each and every member of Sanjeevani Embracing Life that we are extremely, extremely proud of you, each and every one of you. And yes, let us not uh, undermine the role of the teachers who are actually helping to build a strong foundation for these future entrepreneurs. Divya ma'am, Again, we are extremely, extremely proud of you. All the other teachers who are associated with Sanjeevni, we are so grateful that you are a part of this team. And yes, we have two wonderful judges, uh, Bernali ma'am and Deepti ma'am. Welcome to uh, this platform. And I hope that you, know, you too will feel more proud of uh, being a part of ML Khanna DAV Public School after you've done the judging of these wonderful, wonderful participants that we have. Dear participants, let me tell you that sharing your ideas will only make them more robust, will only make them more resonant because when you are thinking in the positive direction, you always want to become better, to grow in different ways and that can happen only when you share your ideas and when you're open to comments and criticisms and suggestions of course so that is what we are doing today we have eight schools we are looking forward to some wonderful business ideas that are going to be presented so once again a warm welcome to each and every one of you and let us hope that 
when we leave this program we are enriched we are richer in terms of ideas we are richer in terms of relationships and interactions god bless us all thank you so much thank you ma'am for sowing the seeds of spirit and enthusiasm among us now i request shri dobal the general secretary to brief us all about the enterprise a very good evening respected principal ma'am worthy accompanying guest teachers dear participants and my fellow team members sanjeevni ambassing life works under the banner of school enterprise challenge by teacher man to fish that grooms young entrepreneurs by embedding in them the traits and qualities of a true entrepreneur sanjeevni ambassing life is a business for charity enterprise of ml khanna dv public school dwarka with the tagline producing promoting and selling eco alternatives for sustainable development the eponym sanjeevni embracing life is an inspiration from hinduism which considers sanjeevni as a divine plant that can heal or cure or even reverse death our enterprise indeed is symbolic of cure and care rendered by the caring hands and green thumbs of our green warriors that can reverse the damage or imbalance caused by callous human activities we at sanjeevni aim at developing vocational skills in students applying ethics in practical life which is much required in our country empowering girl child providing real life learning to be with us throughout our lives as a treasure promoting sustainable development contributing to solving prevalent threats to people and planet now i would like to brief you all about our products All our products are significantly designed to turn waste into wealth and reduce our carbon footprints and strive for sustainable development. Not only this, we believe uplifting the society with us, and so our products also support local artisans. Here you can see a glimpse of our products. We have jute bags, bird houses, animal shelters, potted plant, mushrooms. After that, we have glow in dark name plates, terracotta jewelry. festive season products and we also have vermi compost waste paper products and cloth masks we at sanjeevni believe in adapting to the changes of needs demands and also ensure what is safe for both human and mother nature with the change in our focus market potential customers and the safety measures we adapted very quickly and efficient, efficiently to the available technological resources and the result is our very famous and successful ventures of online fundraising event like e tambola live music concert and zest fest team sanjeevni believes that giving is the greatest act of grace and so we ensure that a significant percentage of our profits are contributed to the underprivileged sections of our society After working hard with all our blood and sweat, I am proud to tell you all that Team Sanjeevni is indeed a brand in itself. That let its success make the noise, and our efforts weren't unnoticed by teacher men to fish. In the year 2020-21, we were the winner of best gold level annual report. Four of our team members won prizes in different categories of enterprise adventure challenge. In the year 2019-20 our team leader Asmi Jain was awarded the most enterprising student of the year award. She was awarded with a laptop and kind recognition. Not only this but we also completed our goal level that year. In the year 2018-19 our enterprise was awarded the title of going for gold trail blazers and a cash prize of 500 US dollars. Our lead teacher Ms Divya Sharma ma'am was also the title holder of most inspiring lead teacher. She was awarded 1000 US dollars for her remarkable efforts. In the year 2017-18 we were the winner of best silver annual report in Asia Pacific region and a cash prize of 2500 US dollars. Also we were the winner of blogging mini competition in December for our blog on sustainability of our school business. To showcase our talents and entrepreneurial spirits we ensured that we missed no opportunity to sell our products be it our school PTMs or sales through the permanent counter in the school or venues outside the school campus 
Here you can see a glimpse of our sale events. In accordance with the government norms and safety precautions of our team, we were not able to put up stalls and shopping stops at school campus or any place around. So we switched to the next best possible alternative that was our virtual shopping arena in which we showcased our different types of products and sold them to our customers through social media, Google Meet and Microsoft Teams. This is surely not the end of the journey because we, Team Sanjeevni, every day develops the ideas from 172 students, teachers and parent community who help us to grow better and achieve more. Thank you, Shrey. You certainly made us realize the potency of teamwork. As you all know that we all are gathered here to share our business ideas under Pitch Tech. I would like to bring some general rules to your notice. The event will take place in English language starting from 4 p.m. onwards. Each group will get five minutes to present their business ideas. The participants will have to stop presenting as soon as the timer indicates that five minutes are over. Our venerable judges will consider the following dimensions in the decision making for selecting the best performances that are presentation and creativity, confidence and fluency, teamwork, and at last, relevance of idea in achieving sustainability. Without any further ado, let's begin our event with the participants of Brain International School Vikaspuri. So I would like to request Arjun Guleria and Jia Tandon to share their screen and start speaking after the beep sound. Hello and good evening to everyone who are present here. I hope you all are good. So our team consists of two members and both are engineers. And here we are present to present our business idea. Now the concept of our business idea. Our app is Ocean. Ocean makes sustainable shopping easier than ever before. It is the first shopping application that garners all and only sustainable articles from top national and international brands from labels like H&M, Reformation, Zara, etc. and enlists them for one-stop shop. Ocean provides a detailed background study on each and every product regarding their materials, sources and production so our customers know where to whom their money is going. Our app also has a unique feature called Stream that maps all small businesses, fashion houses, and boutiques near you so as to promote small businesses. Now the idea behind Ocean. Fashion industry is the second most polluting industry in the world after the oil industry, responsible for almost 8 to 10% of humanity's total carbon footprint. Textile workers in development countries are often paid derisory wages after 18 per, after 85% of textiles go to dump each year due to fast fashion. Sustainable fashion refers to clothing that is designed, produced, and distributed in an eco-friendly manner and ensures an ethical supply chain. And even though the rise in awareness has led multiple brands to switch to sustainable practices, but many people are still aware. Ocean is an initiative to make sustainable fashion easy, accessible, and available at one place while education, educating people of uh, eco-friendly alternatives to fast fashion. Now, a SWOT analysis of our application. The strength of our business. Strengths of our business. Our concept is eco-friendly. We have a set of skilled engineers and a very good software. And we have established relationships with leading brands in the market. Our weakness is that we lack funding and physical assets. And we have a limited amount of workers and employees. Now, our opportunity. The fashion industry is expected to grow in the upcoming years. The concept will be new to masses. There's no such business currently existing in the market. And government schemes will also help us promote our business and other existence. And the threats are the fashion industry is very saturated. 
apps like Mintra are already existing in the market and uh, have a very um, good goodwill in the market. Individual apps are creating sustainable columns in their applications, which partially solve their purpose of our app. Sustainable clothes are comparatively expensive, so might not people want to invest in them. Now let's go to the marketing techniques we are going to use to promote our application. Our target audience is the younger working demographic, which constitutes about 34.33% of the population, according to the recent census of India. Our business will provide a 50% discount and free delivery for the first five orders for its customers. Additional offers will also be provided to paid members and orders above 500 Indian rupees will also be given a bonsai plan to encourage them to buy from our application. We will also increase our reach through social media platforms like Instagram and perform collaborations with popular social media personalities to reach our target audience. Our app will also act as a portal to recycle and old clothes, doing which will give our customers an additional 10% cashback. And we also follow the ideas of Kotler's for, for marketing PS, product, price, place, and promotion. Now about our funding and investments. We have a total of 20 lakhs Indian rupees, including our personal savings and reserves. We require a total of 80 lakhs to tie up with delivery companies, call centers, warehousing, etc. We would also require a staff of 150 engineers and 10 technicians to ensure the pop, uh, proper working of our app. We seek to gain rest of our funding from the Samrit government scheme, which ensures to provide up to 40 lakhs of funding up to 300 startups. Our business ex expected to be able to recover the investment in approximately five years after which we will seek to take it to the international market. Now going on to the pestle, uh, pestle analysis of the fashion industry, which is the political, environmental, social, technological, economic, and legal factors affecting the fashion industry, in turn affecting our business. Now how ocean contributes to our society? Our app spreads awareness and educates people of the idea of sustainability. <laughs> It ensures the implementation of the three R's, that is recycle, reuse, and reduce. And as our business expands, it is sure to increase employment by creating job opportunities. This was all from our side. Thank you and have a nice day. Thank you, Arjun and Chia. Your ideas are very remarkable. Now, now let's now, invite now. the participants of Mount Carmel School, Prakrit Pranav and Pooja Kumari. I request you to share your screen and start speaking after the beep sound. Oh, uh, am I audible? Yes, you are. Okay, yes. thank you. I'd like to begin now. We start after the beep sound. Okay. Well, good morning, everyone. And we are Mount Carmel School, and we will be presenting our startup named Book Brokers. Have you ever wondered what makes Google, Tesla, Amazon the best at what they do? Have you ever wondered that? It's convenience. It's because they are convenient to use. Is That is the reason that they are at the helm of their sectors. Our competition is basically small bookstores from which you buy books, wherever you buy books from. That is our market. You, the student, is our market. The idea that we have is simple. During the lockdown, students could not get books, booksellers could not sell books, and we come in between recycling secondhand books the five pillars that our whole company is going to be standing on is renting books, selling new books, reusing books, selling stationery and recycling books. One of the main things that we stand for. So that's where we come in, book brokers. So before you start a company, you have to know, is there a need for this company? To, do, to know that, we did a small survey and found out 
found out that most people buy second hand books and are willing to buy if it is 40% lower than the original cost so this is where we put our startup a startup that recycles old books gives it gives it a new life and sell brings it on in the ecosystem of books now i would like to bring pooja in for the implementation strategy okay so what is the implementation strategy that we follow so moving on with this uh, due to the current pandemic we all have been locked inside our homes and we are we have moved to online platforms so book brokers will aim uh, at selling new books and stationery items giving books on rent reselling books all of this through a user friendly website which we have curated so this is the layout of our website book brokers as you can see we aim at resell and recycle bxt is our own token currency we'll be talking about in the future this is actual uh, shop button resell all of these things you can see you can also contact us in the next slide which you can see uh, all the details are here you can recycle and earn that will be uh, will be telling you uh, in the above uh, in the forward things uh, moving on this is the stockpile this is the back end of our we uh, website wherein uh, we we have the data of which books are needed which ones are already used how much stock we have left and all the details that we require and moving on to the business model well before we move on to the business model the last step that comes in implementation is how do you what is the story of the seller the story is you come to us with a book we take that book store it whenever somebody comes in and needs that book then we sell it to them with a 5% extra margin so that's our business that takes us to our business model so where do we make money how does this company gain capital three main ways books the margin as i told you between selling old books and selling old books to new customers is about 60% of the of the input that we'll be get, getting selling new stationery to uh, as an additional item is another thing and showing small ads of local businesses on our website is also a mode of income so when books come to us we will segregate them in minimal damage books and secondary conditions minimal damage books can get resold but secondary damage books get recycled and reused and now where do we spend the money that we get the main points where we spend money is buying notebooks buying books buying stationery operational costs of delivery men of storing houses this is the division as you can see on the pie chart now we come up with the bxt book exchange tokens it's nothing out of the ordinary one bxt is equal to one rupee you can either choose to have it in one b either through rupees or through bxt the incentive for using bxt is that you get an additional benefit of no cost for renting books book rent books for whatever time you want so all the all the uh, everything will be transparent and fair so now comes the marketing thank you come on please how do we sell our convenience that's the most important thing that we need to focus on that is the marketing so we have created our instagram page and these are few of the ads that we posted there which you can see because we are 20 uh, 21st century kids and we all know how motivating instagram is for most of the people moving on you can check out our page uh, on instagram and you can see all of these things the most important question is who is our target audience our target audience is the uh, high school students uh, with which we uh, with whom we coordinate and along with various organizations to bring everyone under one platform that is how we reach out to you and we make efforts to conserve environment also and we do activities and stuff that really helps uh, to protect environment and motivate you to take a step moving ahead uh, this is basically the incentive we all know how instagram is popular these days so doing the highest contribution you get people. with that we'd like to end our uh, with that we'd like to end our presentation thank you for being a patient audience thank you thank you prakaran puja it was indeed a pleasure listening to you may i now request anshu priya and anmol from ag dev centenary public school model town to share their screen and start sharing their ideas after the beep sound a business a business has to be evolving it has to be fun and it has to exercise your creative instinct greetings to all 
This is Anshupriya Singh along with my friend Anmol Sharma. And today, we are here to present a business idea. We are fascinated with robots because they are the reflections of ourselves. Robots, the future and present. Robot is basically a machine capable of carrying out a complex series of actions. Robots are the future of a nation. Are there going to be a technical advancement in every field and the whole human society we will depend on the machines? And so it could be a good idea for a business. But the prices of any robot available in the market is very high because of the rarity and less production. Mainly the robots and their kits are available in the countries like USC and Japan. And the people living in faraway countries are unable to take its advantages, especially in countries like India. Even if we travel to buy such robots or the mechanical parts or import them either, the prices will touch the sky, adding the tax and transportation charges. For example, a food serving robot is available for rupees 1.48 lakhs in Japan and further charges for import or transportation make this amount much larger. Hmm, but what if we produce the robot in our own country? There will be no cost of patient, right? Also, there, if there is any technical problem in the robot, the customer will get the services easily in India only. Moreover, this will be something new, so more people will be attracted. In fact, this will not require as much skill as a scientist or engineer. We just require such basic skills like assembling of parts, wiring, soldering, etc. This will also contribute in decrease of unemployment in the country, which will lead to the production of economy and increase in the GDP too. Now we are providing the robots at a very reasonable rate without any extra expenses. So the question is, is that how will we make the robot or the product quality will be good or not? We will start that. We will start this at a small level where we will manufacture them in our own premises with very good quality material. At first, we will start with toolkits which are available in the market under rupees ten thousand only. These kits have various parts, which will enable us to give good quality output. After the increase in sale, we will increase the production and investments. So instead of investing lakhs and crores in a single project, we can start with small investments and get great results. This culture shows that how much people are aware of the robots and the artificial intelligence. It shows that the teenagers are most aware of the artificial intelligence, that is 45 percent, which is followed by youngsters, that is 35 percent. Whereas the senior citizens are least aware of the AI, that is only 5 percent. So this will ultimately increase the awareness and the interest of the people too. As we know that nowadays more people are shifting from joint families to nuclear families. In many cases, both the parents are working. So such a boss will be very helpful in these situations. We can do daily households like floor cleaning, washing dishes, etc. Along with voice commands and vast memory, this can also replace manual labor. We can also provide these robots in army that will help in the security and storing databases. A student, Simajit Singh of our school, have you manufactured many small devices such as Arduino-based piano and many more. Here are some of the examples. robots and start a business at a very small level with brightest future. Thank you to all.
Thank you, Anshupriya and Anmol, for sharing your bright ideas. Now, let's call upon the participants of Indra Prastha International School, Dwarka. Arnav Satija and Sanvi Lamba are thereby requested to share their screen. Please start speaking after the beep sound. Greetings of the day. I am Nasa Teacher. And I am Sanvi Lamba. I am going to present a short business idea. The name of our company is Happy Tales and we provide a very useful and safe product that is reflective dog collars. Now, not taking any much more time, we would like to start our presentation. What is a reflective dog collar, you might ask? A reflective dog collar is a normal collar but with a reflective band which reflects night and light and is very useful. Getting a reflective dog collar is for street dogs is very simple and effective way of keeping your dog community safe. People in our country are always in a hurry and are always rushing on roads and highways. It is important for us humans to learn that every life is important, whether it's theirs or any other animals. On an average, 2,500 plus accidents take place on road every year. That is nine accidents per day. Mostly the road accidents take place on highways at night. People run and hit, but these accidents lead to severe wounds and also sometimes death. We have brought a very useful product to our idea. We will be able to make quality reflective band for stray dogs. We'll be able to protect them from humans as well as dogs. From deadly accidents, our product is mainly for street dogs, but can also be used by old dogs. These collars will glow at night and will help you, as well as travelers, drivers, recognize a dog if he's wearing a reflective collar. Our targeted market types. Our very first target customers will be the NGOs and the welfares. For the social work, they require a lot of material to be used for the dogs, and the one of their product will be provided by us. We will provide a very good quality product which will be comfortable, durable, with an affordable price, comfortable, adjustable facility, and the most important, the reflectors. Our second uh, targeted customer are the dog owners. Dog owners always own a dog, a dog collar, but it is better for them and safer for them as well to use a reflective collar so that there is minimal or zero, zero chance of any risk in future. Okay. Few qualities of our reflective collars are they are comfortable for the dogs, they are chew resistant, adjustable according to size of the dogs, they are extremely safe. We also provide a variety of design patterns and colors with two years of warranty. We will be able, we will be collecting old, used, thrown out collars and we'll be recycling them into new ones. Safety is our main purpose, but we, we always want our dogs to look perfect. Whether you're going for safety or style, our reflective dog collars might be the right choice for your furry little best friend. For the dog owners, we will provide them with cute little designs, different colors and patterns available, which will obviously make their dog look much cuter or maybe the cutest. Samples have always been the best way to grow a business while in the market. We will be able to provide samples to different NGOs, welfares, which we will make sure that they like a product and will buy in the future. Personal funds will also play an important role in the campaigns. We will run different campaigns in order to collect money for the social cause. Influencing others is another key aspect in business. Our strategy is to convince others to put in funds that we will provide them with warranty reflective collars and pre-exchange collars until and unless they are used in a condition to be used or unused. We will promote our product via digital marketing. How is our company better than other companies? Our company is definitely better than other companies as in each collar we will, the dog, the dog is wearing, there will be a Bluetooth device connected to an app. Any, if our Bluetooth range will be 500 meters approximate. If there will be any danger to the dog, the app will notify the NGO and the team can then reach the place for the rescue. Our price range will be not more than 200. It will only be around 180 to 200 only. Here is why a reflective dog collar can be in your dog's best interest. Keeping dogs safe 
with reflective collars, as dog collars can also have a bad dog moments. If a dog gets loose at night, the reflective collar can keep them safe. A collar picks up lights from headlights and other sources of light that can allow people to see the dog and avoid a very deadly accident. Besides helping to protect your community dogs from accidents, wearing a collar also indicates that they are being lo loved for and dogs with collars are very less likely to be relocated. Adding an ID tag or a phone number, or maybe sometimes even an area pin code, would be useful if the dog accidentally wandered away from his or her territory. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Arnavan Sandhi. Your ideas truly reflected entrepreneurship. Now, let's invite the participants of JPDAV Public School. I request Naman Tyagi and Ravi to share the screen and begin speaking after the beep sound. Do we have Naman Tyagi and Ravi here in the meeting? I request moderators to move on to the next school. We'll come back to them when they will rejoin. Now comes the participants from ML Khanna Devi Public School, Dwarka. I would like to request Amitansh Keshirwani and Ankur Mukherjee to share the screen and present their views after the beep sound. A very good evening to one and all present here. Today, we, the students of ML Khanna, Devi Public School Dwarka, are here to present our pitch deck in front of you all. Hello, everyone. I am Ankur Mukherjee, the founder of the Elysium. Hi, I am Amitansh Kishirwani, the co-founder of the Elysium. Solve the problem or leave the problem, but do not live with the problem. In the current scenario of pandemic, where almost every person is facing emotional or financial issues, which is resulting in negativity amongst people that is also leading to deterioration of their health and in some cases, even life too. This problem is significant enough to be addressed as it is just not a matter of negativity, but of its long-term impact on our mental as well as physical health too. If you stay positive in a negative situation, you win. The solution of this problem is to pour some positivity amongst the masses in order to raise some hope. This will help them to overcome with their distress, whether it be financial or emotional. Also, it will improve the mental as well as the physical health of the people. In this horrific situation, the Elysium is a perfect medium which will help to provide the people a ray of hope by inculcating positivity. The Elysium is a website which provides multiple kinds of stress buster and fun-filled activities. Along with this, it will also provide a platform to the small-scale manufacturers to showcase their products. Our website will make our customers' life better by providing them various fun-filled activities which boost their mental as well as their physical health too. Our platform for small-scale small -scale businessmen will help them to gain more and more customers and will ultimately help them to make financially stable. So here is a glimpse of our website. This is the home page of our website. These are the login and sign up details. These are the activities we'll include. This is the platform for the small scale manufacturers to showcase their products. The size of our, the type of market we are entering will be existing market. And the size of our total market is around 3.8 billion which is the middle class population of the world, our serviceable market will be 26% of our total market. Our potential customers include the stressed and tense people of the age group 18 to 65 years. 
It also includes the small-scale businessmen who are hard hit by the pandemic. Our revenue sources will be subscription fees of Rs 2500 that we'll charge for the fun fill activities. Also, we'll charge a sum of 1500 from the small scale producers as an advertisement fees. So here is our basic financial plan. You all can have a look at it. As per our calculations, our revenue that we will generate in a month will be of around Rs 4,12,500. And our expenditure will be of Rs 1,50,000. And the profit that turns out to be in a month will be of rupees 2,62,500 rupees. As you can see, our comp according to our competition analysis, our website, the Elysium, stands all out of it. The key differentiator here is that our website, the Elysium, provides multiple kinds of activities under a single umbrella. Here is our branding video. Are you also tensed or stressed with your regular hectic schedule? Well, worry not. The Elysium is here to help you with the motto to bring happiness in all over the world. With a minimal subscription fee, you can avail activities like jam sessions, yoga sessions, virtual stand-up comedy and many more on a single platform. And if you are a small-scale producer or manufacturer, and want to increase your sales, then you are at your right destination. As along with providing the sessions, we will also give you a platform to increase your sales by connecting you to a lot many customers than before, which will ultimately increase your sales. So hurry up, take the subscription of our website at just 2005. So this is our marketing plan. As you all can see, we will advertise our product by in different social media platforms. We will also collaborate with different YouTubers and will also advertise our product in newspapers and by distributing pamphlets. We'll bootstrap our venture with an initial capital of Rs 10 lakhs, out of which 2 lakhs will be spent on advertisements, 1 lakh 50,000 as remuneration to employees, 1 lakh for website designing, 4 lakhs for the systems we require, and 150000 for other expenditures. In a nutshell, the Elysium is a website which provides multiple stress buster and fun filled activities under a single umbrella. Not only this, we are also there to promote your products and help you in growing your business. Thank you. Thank you, Amita Anchanankur, for sharing such a vivid and meticulous idea. Uh, sorry for interrupting. May I request Tanvi to go back and uh, re-announce the names of uh, JPDAV students from JPDAV school? Yes, ma'am. Now let's invite the participants of JPDAV public school. So I request Naman Tyagi and Ravi to share the screen and start speaking after the beep sound. Yes, ma'am, we are here. <coughs> uh, good evening to everyone present here. Today, Ravi Bhardwa this side with Naman Tyagi uh, presenting our business idea on a low company that is low compliance in today's world, everyone. Sorry to interrupt. Have you presented your screen? Yes, ma'am. It is not visible. Please reshare. Now it's visible. Yes, now it is visible. Please start after the beep sound. Okay. <laughs> <clears throat> Good evening to everyone. Today, and Ravi Bardwaj, this side with Naman Tyagi. And today, we are here to present our business ideas on a very, very important thing that every enterprise need in their business. Next.
in every business they need every business firm need some laws that they have to follow that are uh, running in the country in india the, the firms need the legal services and the compliance with which are very compliant and lapse in the compliance the employer does not the employer does not able to get satisfied with the workforce as a, there are many business disruptions such as the they cannot they cannot they cannot adapt the proper technology and innovations and the, so that the employer brand equity is also impacted that they are not having the proper financial cost in terms of damages there faces different types of damages in their business which affects their brand equity which disturbs their progress of their business and for solu- and the solution of this <coughs> pro- problem is our product our product is now we are forwarding on to the what the problem of the business and we, what we are the offering of the services presently in today's world employees are required to maintain compliances in terms of register record returns lunch and th- this becomes a very very time taking and heavy procedure for the business to do and our pro- product la compliance unlimited will ensure everything to the user as a software as a service for employer who would require to just upload upload their employee data in a predetermined single format and the tool would produce all the requisite records under the labor laws which can employer would select from a drop down menu a drop down menu will be provided to the employer so that they can choose from there our product our product will make everything so simpler that a user will come to our platform and input his data and the output will be provided to him in very very simplified manner and he will do his or her works of his organization in a very simplified and easy manner uh, our product is a online web based tool through with uh, an an employer an employer can log in with on this and the the employer can get their details advantage of our company is it will make everything simpler it will make everything easier no any domain expertise is required to use our product our product is very very simple that even a starter can use it and it is very cost effective its registration fees will be very less effort effective it will not create much more uh, and it is available 24 into 7 and But, the business opportunity analysis of our uh, field is that only very few firms are working in this area and is the firm will grow many folds in the initial years of its launch the first year target of our firm is to target 500 msmes and second year target is 1000 msmes and third year target will be 2000 msmes and the registration price for our firm will be very very less that is 10000 for the first year and the targeted penetration of the available market in first three years will be close to 5% and the per token per login or per msme the 10000 will be charged for the first 3 years and there after 5% increase in every year the fund requirement and source of the funds will be tools and technologies for 50 lakhs hardware and server for 50 lakhs business promotions for business first 3 years will be first 1 crore first 3 year operational expenses will be 3 crores the total overall expenses we are here that are 5 crores a source will be 550 lakh for self 3 crores 3 crores for bank funding rest the investors for 50% sell route through equity share 50% and secured loan that are business loans to be returned in 10 years with 8% return public offering for 5 years at 20% equity offloading thank you thank you Thank you Naman and Ravi for sharing your idea with us. Moving ahead, I now invite Arpan and Anshul from DAV Police Public School Gurugram. Please share your screen and start speaking after the beep sound. Is
is my screen visible yes it is okay thank you I'm sure your screen is not visible. Actually, I'm having some problem. My screen is not visible on my screen. It's blank. Uh, no problem, I'm sure. Uh, there can be technical glitch uh, on anybody's part. So I would request both of you to please participate. You can speak even if you are not able to share the screen. Please go ahead. Ishu, may I request you to reset the timer for them? Yes, ma'am, sure. Okay, ma'am. Thank you. Ma'am, Arpan is sharing the screen now. Good evening, everyone. We are here with the topic PPE kit waste management. Problems arising due to PPE kits. Personal protective equipment, PPE, is a specialized clothing or equipment worn by an employee for protection against infectious materials. PPEs are vital in battling the COVID-19 crisis but need to be disposed daily, especially by healthcare workers. The demand of plastic waste is growing at a rate of 22% annually. According to a nationwide survey conducted in the year 2003, more than 10,000 MT of plastic waste is generated daily in our country, and only 40% of the same is recycled. Balance, 60% is not possible to dispose of. Excessive use of plastic is deteriorating our environment. Waste is slowly piling up an environmental crisis. India is still lagging in the systematic collection and disposal of this waste. How big is the problem? With ramped up production of PPE kits, India has become a producer of, for PPE kits now from being an importer. The country has become the second largest producer of PPE kits. India manufactures more than 5 lakh PPEs per day. The PP industry in India is a 7,000 crore industry in the making. The disposal of PPE is ongoing in the ongoing coronavirus pandemic has increased the plastic crisis. The used PPE kits potentially being infectious are a threat to human health, terrestrial and marine ecosystems. Did you know that every month the world needs 89 million medical masks 7, 76 million examination gloves and 1.6 million protective goggles. Effects of this growing problem on the environment. So as a solution for this problem, we have two options. Mainly we are focusing in this for the first one. Turning the PPE kit waste or the plastic waste from other sources into fuel or we can make bricks from them. So for the production of making the PPE kit into fuel, we need an investment of 25 lakhs in a machinery. The machine could convert about 10,000 to 13,000 ton of plastic into fuel per day and 
from one ton of plastic we can extract about 600 to 650 liters of fuel the pricing of fuel be would about 40 to 45 rupees per liter so this would be the we have estimated the per day profit so the plastic needed for per day would be about 13000 ton and we would need about the money 9 crore 10 lakh for the pla uh, to purchase the pla plastic and we could make about 78 lakh liters of fuel from that plastic and later on we can export that fuel at normally the price of 40 rupees per liter and can make up the amount 31 crore 20 lakhs so here clearly we can make easily a profit of 22 crore and 10 lakhs even if we give out 50% uh, as our bills and taxes even though then we have about 11 crore and 5, five lakh of profit made from this project itself and this too about in one day think about that you can even repay the loan that you have taken from the bank in only one day so these are the advantages of our project it would be at it would be at a low cost and we could even reduce the plastic that is accumulated in the environment This is preventing those materials from ending up in a landfill. Fuel that are produced can be tailored to a certain need, such as transportation or other uses where heat is required. It can be burned with a lower carbon footprint than fossil fuels. So it would be uh, a little bit eco-friendly more than petroleum and diesel. And it has the potential to expand the material use to metal waste and others to be easily recyclable. Thank you. That's all. Thank you, Anshulan Arpan. Your idea was pretty impressive. I now request the participants from Devi Public School, Jasola Bihar, Nishant and Shavi to share their ideas. Kindly share your screen and start speaking after the beep sound. <laughs> Good evening to all the teachers and all my fellow friends which are present here from all of the different schools. Here I am Nishan Chohan from DAV Jasola Vihar and I would like to present my business idea in front of you. So the name of our enterprise is Teenzo. As the name suggests this, as the name suggests this organization, this enterprise is for the teenagers which are neither kid nor adults. So this is a particularly a sole proprietorship firm and here is our logo and here is our tagline. So the problem which we are solving right now is that, so the problem which we are solving right now is that the teenagers have, the clothes of teenagers are neither, are not easily available in the market. So because of this, it is very difficult for them to find out their clothes from the well-reputed brands like Zara and all Zara, Gucci and all others. So this is the gap which we are here to fill in, in the market. So because of that gap, we are introducing Teenzo in front of you. Here we are, here there is no competition at all in the market to tackle our business idea because there is no brand in India which is available for our teenagers, which is actually selling the clothes of the teenagers. So that's why we are here to introduce. So that's why we are here to fill that gap. Here, uh, we will cap reasonable price that is less to capture the larger market share also as teenagers are not earning. So that's why we are charging low price here because we have to capture the more market first and then we will focus on earning. And let's focus on quality. 
charging low price does not mean that we will not focus on quality because price can be seen but quality can be felt so we will keep this thing in mind and we'll further our business with keeping quality in our top priority list now i would like to introduce chavi for further presentation of our business idea talking about the sources of funds we will first re rely on bootstrapping that is self finance so that we do not rely on external uh, external people's capital for so long and also as fashion industry is a capital intensive one so we need a loan as well so we we'll consider bank loan and talking about the position statement uh, so our capital includes uh, it it's around 15 lakh and includes building capital stock etc and their asset is uh, built in the asset side are building a cell phone now the social responsibility talking about the employees we are try to employ more of the socially and economically backward and physically disabled people so that they are not left behind now we would like to see and show our branding video Thank you. That's all. Thank you, Nishant and Chavi, for such an incredible idea. Now, I would like to thank you all for your positive inputs. Appreciation is a wonderful thing. It makes what is excellent in others belong to us as well. Therefore. Till the time the results are prepared, let's begin with the e-valedictory ceremony to mark our indomitable spirit throughout the event. Also, once the results are declared, the certificates will be updated accordingly. All the certificates will be shared with you by tomorrow. So, I would like to present this e-certificate to Arjun Galeria from Brain International School for sharing his splendid ideas. Congratulations, Arjun. Thank you so much. Here comes the E certificate of Jia Tandon from Brain International School. Thank you for participating in today's event, Jia. Thank you. Next, we have the E certificate of Prakhar Pranav from Mount Carmel School. Thank you, Prakhar, for your time. Now. I would like to present the E certificate to Pooja from Mount Carmel School for her remarkable work in today's event. Here is our E certificate, Pooja. Now I present this E certificate to Anshu Priya from AGTV Centenary Public School for her valuable insights. Congratulations, Anshu Priya. Wow, Thank you so much. This is the E certificate for Anmol from AGTV Centenary Public School. For sharing his valuable inputs, congratulations, Admol. Thank you very much. Next, we have the E certificate of Arnav Satiza from Indra Prastha International School. Congratulations, Arnav. Here is the E certificate of Sanvi Lamba from Indra Prastha International School. Thank you, Sanvi, for your precious time. Moving ahead, we have the E certificate for Naman Tyagi from JPDAV Public School. Thank you, Naman, for being with us. I'm glad to present the certificate to Ravi Bhardwaj from JPDAV Public School. Congratulations, Ravi. 
Now I present this e certificate to Amitansh Keshavani from ML Khanna Devi Public School for his outstanding work. Congratulations, Amitansh. Thank you. This is the e certificate of Uncle Mukherjee from ML Khanna Devi Public School. Thank you, Uncle, for sharing your innovative ideas with us. Thank you. Moving ahead, I sincerely present this e certificate to Arpan from Devi Police Public School for his enduring commitment. Congratulations, Arpan. This e certificate is presented to Anshul from Devi Police Public School in recognition of her creative approach. Congratulations, Anshul. Thank you. Furthermore, this e-certificate is of Nishan from DV Public School, Jasola Bihar, for his contribution to today's event. Congratulations, Nishan. <laughs> Lastly, I present this e-certificate to Chavi for her exceptional ideas. Congratulations, Chavi. <laughs> and a big thank you to all for making this event a grand hit. All right now, hold your breath for the results of today's event. For that, I would like to invite our reverend judges to break the silence. Good evening all, am I audible? Yes ma'am, you are. Yes ma'am. Thank you so much. So the most awaited part of the event is here. And yes, as judges, we did have a very tough time, uh, but we are ready with the result. So are you ready to recognize the winners now? Uh, give me a thumbs up, all of you now. I, I wish uh, we can all uh, switch on our cameras, all the participants, we can switch on our cameras and we can give a thumbs up. Are you all ready for the prizes now? Great, great. I can see some participants, they're ra they raising their thumbs and they are showing that yes, they are ready for the result. Okay, so... Um, let me start with the third prize winner. So the third prize winner is Brain International School. And I congratulate the members of Brain International School for winning the third prize. Now I move on to the second prize. The second prize is won by the members of ML Khanna Devi Public School Dwarka. So congratulations, students of ML Khanna Devi Public School. Very good. Now the most coveted one, of course, is the first prize. So here we have students of Mount Carmel School who have bagged the first prize. Congratulations, participants of Mount Carmel School. You have really done a wonderful job. Congratulations. But yes. The prize distribution does not end here. We do have some special prizes for the participants. So for the participants of DAV Police Public School, we have Special Appreciation Award. Special Appreciation Award also goes to the participants of Indraprastha School. So congratulations, participants of DAV Police Public School and Indraprastha International School. Thank you. My pleasure, dear. So members of AGDAV Centenary Public School, don't lose heart. We have a special mention award for you. So congratulations, students of AGDAV. Thank you so much, ma'am. Students of AGDAV Public School, Centenary Public School. So we have also one more special mention award, and that goes to members of DAV Public School, Jasola Vihar. Thank you so much, students, for participating and for sharing your ideas. Students of JPDAV uh, School, please don't lose heart, for you have the most promising idea, and we, you win the prize for the most promising idea. So congratulations, students of JPDAV School. Thank you so much, students. It was really Thank an you. honor. Thank you, ma'am. It was really an honor to be a part of this program and 
see the innovative ideas that you have shared with us. Thank you once again. I thank uh, Divya ma'am for inviting us to this program and asking us to judge this program. It's incredible to see such bright entrepreneurs among us. Thank you all once again and have a great day ahead. Thank you. Thank you, judges. I would like to congratulate the winners and all the participants once again. Now, we, Team Sanjeevni, would like to deliver a message on the occasion of Diwali to welcome the eminent and prominent festival celebrated all over India with a huge heart filled with eternal love. Diwali is the biggest festival of India and is celebrated by us all with so much joy and enthusiasm. We do so many things to celebrate this festival of life. Let's make this Diwali a special one by celebrating it with a different ideology. So we, the ecopreneurs of Sanjeevni Embracing Life Business for Charity Enterprise of Emil Khanna, DAV Public School Dwarka are here to suggest some unique ways through which you all can celebrate this Diwali in a more meaningful manner. During Diwali, we all are engaged in cleaning our houses. But mind, body and soul occupy the most vital space and needs to be impeccable. So this Diwali, let's purify our mind, body and soul too along with cleaning our houses. We discard the old things to maintain the pious aura for the welcoming of Goddess Lakshmi each Diwali. So this year, let's discard the unnecessary attributes we possess, which do nothing but degrade our positive approach towards life. Rangoli is far beyond decoration. It's a way to rejuvenate creativity. Just like these vivid colors of Rangoli depict various qualities, it's time to adopt a new change. Corner sadness and welcome a bright future waiting at your doorstep.
Don't forget to thank God for giving us the joy to see the sun by morning, for giving us all the strength we need and all the opportunities in our way. May Lord Ganesha and Goddess Lakshmi bless us with wisdom and prosperity. Festivals are just like banking that keeps us attached to society. It also creates a sense of unity when we are together as friends, family and society. It also shows that the celebrations are best things to be shared with our loved ones. We hope these ideas will surely make a Diwali sustainable, which will embrace people, planet and society. Team Sanjeevni wishes you all a very joyful and safe Diwali. Since the festival of lights is knocking at our doorstep, so I, on behalf of my team, would like to wish you all a very happy and safe Diwali. May God bless us with joy, health and prosperity. Also, we hope our message has surely given you a different perspective to celebrate this Diwali. Before the culmination of today's event, we would like to request you all to provide us with your feedback. We will provide you with the link in the chat box which you are supposed to click on and then provide us with your valuable feedback. I request you all to provide us with your valuable feedback. Gratitude is the best attitude. So, to extend our gratitude, I would like to invite Ambar Tripathi, Director of Sanjeevni Embracing Life, to proffer the vote of thanks. Warm greetings to one and all. It's my privilege to propose the vote of thanks and acknowledge the contribution of those who worked really hard to make our day memorable. First of all, I would like to thank our principal ma'am for blessing us with her words of wisdom and being an integral part of this wonderful session. With your blessings and guidance, we are able to make this event a resounding success. Next, I would like to thank the student participants from different schools who made this event interesting and informative with their impressive presentation and creative ideas. With their hard work and determination, we are able to make this event a big hit. Our sincere gratitude goes to all the institutions and schools and their respective mentors for providing their wonderful content with us and sharing their valuable feedback. Also, I would like to thank our wonderful judges for sparing their precious time with us and deciding the best speakers of the event. Thank you, teachers. Last but not the least, I would like to thank the ecopreneurs of our team Sanjeevni Embracing Life for their hard work and dedicated efforts. Finally, Thank you all for your precious support to us in each and every manner. Thank you all. Thank you, Amber. You showed everyone a glimpse of our gratitude and acknowledgement. A photograph is not just an image. It's a world of a beautiful memory. Hence, let's make this event more memorable and everlasting by taking a group photograph. 
I therefore request you all to turn on your cameras. I request you all to kindly turn on your cameras for a group photograph. Thank you so much. Issue may be move on. Yes, ma'am. Alone we are strong, together we are stronger. To build up our means of togetherness, you can contact us through the social media accounts displayed on your screen. After the big success of Virtual Shopping Arena, we proudly present some of the alluring and pocket-friendly products that you all can purchase by visiting our Facebook page, Green Thumbs DAV, to make this festival of lights enthralling. So, there are some of the beautiful bandarwals. We also have some room decors and wall hangings. And now comes the gorgeous Dia set. With this, we have come to the end of this event. Thank you everyone for your presence and insights. Now, you all can hang up from this meeting.